Well, this month marks a special anniversary for a former Moline and Iowa basketball star. A.C. Earl's dreams turned into reality 25 years ago when he was selected in the first round of the NBA draft. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso takes a look back at Earl's basketball journey leading up to that special night in the first of his two-part series. My dad kind of pushed me from the beginning. He saw something that a lot of people did not. His father's foresight wasn't happenstance. AC Earl with a chance. Because AC Earl's basketball destiny began with his six week checkup at the doctor's office. He says, I'm going to project him to be probably uh, close to seven foot tall. And I said, Really? And I says, Hmm, there's probably uh, a career ahead of him. Trips to local parks, open gyms, and basketball camps started early in elementary school. He sacrificed early on to make sure I, w I had the right tools. With his father's sacrifices came his father's demands. I would tell him that, uh, you know, Ace, there's a kid out in California playing year-round. And sure, it's a little cold today on the uh, Logan grade school uh, playground, but we can shovel the snow away. I'll put the gloves on you, and we'll get some shooting in. You don't know how hard you have to work. So I didn't know how hard I had to work to get to that level probably till my uh, ninth or tenth grade year. The big man was already being noticed by Division I schools at that point because of his size. But it was his play here at Wharton Fieldhouse on Moline's Varsity that solidified his standing as a big time college prospect. I remember not only that he was of good size, but he had great hands. When you watched him you could see, and that's hard to find, with big guys with great hands and good touch. We liked what we saw. Earl liked what he saw from coach Tom Davis and Iowa as well. Fast break style, big guys shooting the three out on the perimeter, free flowing style, fun pressing. Earl would redshirt his first year to mature both mentally and physically for Big Ten basketball. <laughs> A glimpse into his NBA potential came early in his sophomore season. Earl hung 30 points and 12 rebounds on nationally ranked UCLA. That was kind of like my coming out moment. Playing good against future pros was like, oh, okay, I can do this. His progression continued the rest of his Hawkeyes career. AC became a really, really good shot blocker. He was a good passer. He could shoot the ball. And so those things take time to develop. And to his credit, uh, he got it done. Earl would end his Iowa days as the all-time leader in block shots and second in career points. His stellar performance put him on the path to becoming a lottery pick in the 1993 NBA draft. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters. Thank you, Adam. Now, tomorrow night, Adam will take a look at the whole process, the pre-NBA draft experience right through the selection by the Celtics a quarter of a century ago. Special stuff. That was interesting. It was yeah. a good story. Yeah, yeah. great job. Thanks, Jeff.